Hey there, my name is Adam Lane. I'm from the CFO Project. Uh, join Kenny and myself for an interview where we talk about how you, an accountant, a bookkeeper, an enrolled agent, a CPA, can start a CFO advisory service. We talk about um, what you need to get started and how to get started. So join us for this episode. Hey there, amplifiers. Thanks for tuning in. And you know, when you're out there working in your firm, you are working for a reason. You have a why. You started this job. You started your mission to do something. Now, maybe that was to make an impact for those you serve. Maybe that was to provide value to your inner circle, your family, your team, your community. Maybe it's a combination of both. Either way, you have a why. And sometimes we can get so caught up in the day-to-day, -day, we miss seeing the big picture. And when we do that, we miss the full impact that we can make. And our guest today is a rock star professional who's created something amazing and he's helping people provide more impact and also receive more impact. And it's really uh, an amazing organization and I'm excited to have him on Growth Amplifiers. So if you're looking to perhaps have more benefits from your job, have more fun and make more impact, then you're tuned in to the right episode. And I'd like to welcome to Growth Amplifiers, Adam Lean. He's the founder of the CFO Project. And Adam, thanks for being here today and for sharing your story with us. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you for inviting me, Kenny. So we're talking about the why. You've, you've created a great organization that helps uh, bookkeepers and accountants and those who are helping people with their numbers and their finances provide higher level CFO services. What is your why? How did you get into doing what you're doing today? How did, how did this come out from being an idea into what it is now? Yeah. I mean, really, it's quite simple. Business owners need help. They need real help. I mean, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 50% of all businesses fail before they reach their fifth birthday. Half fail. And they all had accountants. They all had bookkeepers. So it's not enough to have an accountant or bookkeeper to help the business owner. The, book, the business owner needs something more. The business owner needs somebody that they can trust to tell them what to do to have a successful business. That's what they want. And they're looking at their accountant to do that. But most accountants are not providing that level of help because most accountants mm -hmm. are focused on recording the past, you know, compliance and transactional work, making sure the taxes are done. And which is an important job. Don't get me wrong. It's needed. But that's not really what your business owner clients want. They want you to give them advice. And so that's our mission. Our mission actually is to eradicate business failure. And we do that by training accountants and bookkeepers on a system to provide a outsourced CFO service. What I love about that is number one, it's a system and you have a compelling mission and it, it is real. The struggle is real and businesses get caught in their day-to-day -day whirlwind. They're working, putting out fires, getting their things done. And like you mentioned, they have this accountant looking at their numbers, a lot of times just checking the boxes. And there's a common misconception that, that I see accountants make. They say, if, well, if my client needed more help, they'd ask me, but why is that a myth? Why is it a myth that if my account, my client needed help, they'd ask me, well, they don't know what help they need. That's like, it. It's it, they don't know what they don't know. So right. if they don't know, they they may never ask. They may never ask the important questions. If they don't ask the important questions, they may run themselves right into a wall, and that's going to lead to that failure. But exactly, tell us and, and, how how your your process um, and your CFO project really changes the script. Yeah. So the, the thing is, accountants and and really any financial professional, CPA, enrolled agent, bookkeeper. Uh, a lot of times we get so focused on the, the compliance transactional task in front of us. Oh, I have a stack of tax returns. Or I've got to complete these books before the month. And, and, 
And so we get lost in our own world with, and we, we forget that the people paying us, they have other problems <laughs> that they would like taken care of. And if, and if all you do for them is something that, I mean, let's face it, the very bottom, the long list of what business owners think about each day, accounting just falls to the bottom. It just does. So if you're thought of as somebody that's just a necessary evil, I've got to have somebody do my books. I got to have somebody do my taxes. They're not going to pay you that much. And so you are focused on doing a lot of these transactional compliance tasks, and you're really not getting paid all that much. So in order for you to make more money, you've got to take on more clients, work more hours, and, and neither of those sound really great. So what's the best way to make more money? Well, it's to charge more. You can't charge more if what you're providing is a necessary evil. It's like, it's like why would I... If I'm driving down the street and there's two gas stations next to each other and one's 45 cents more than per gallon the other, why would I go to the more expensive one? I think all gas is, and most people think all gasoline is pretty much the same. You know, so you got to be thought of as somebody different. You can't be thought of as just a commodity. And we call that in our world, we call it an account, the accountant's trap, where to, to make more money, you got to take on more clients or work more hours and and that's just not a, not something that many accountants really want to do. So we're think. So our message is, you could do the compliance and transactional work if you want, but add add on or enhance it by providing an outsourced CFO or business advisory service. Then all of a sudden you'll be thought of as not a commodity, but as somebody the client actually wants to talk to because they crave guidance from somebody that can help them. And the best possible person that can help them is their financial professional in their life. I really like, I really like that uh, comparison. If you just have apples to apples, it's commodity. There's nothing else to compete on price. Even with the inflation going on and people are expecting to pay new prices. Uh, at some point, if you, all you do is raise your prices, then you might be concerned that people would go to other services and they'd be smart to do so. But what you're oh. sharing is you're sharing something different because it, if you provide more value, if you help them transform what is possible for their business, if you help them elevate and raise their game, then you take price out of the equation because now you're actually helping them uh, make more money than costing. It would be a cut for them to try to cut you off. you made yourself irreplaceable. So exactly. if you can get that in your mindset, that if you provide more value, you can charge more and your clients will respect and appreciate you more, you'll enjoy it more, that's the first step. So now I see people that want to be doing these things. They know that AI is on the rise and that people are starting to find technology to replace some of the things that people were doing. It's getting further commoditized but they're overwhelmed. They don't know, how do I get started in this? I don't know if I can even do this. It's going to yeah. take too long. How does someone go from maybe where they're at now to becoming a CFO and doing it in such a way where they actually can help people uh, as a guide, as a trusted guide? Yeah, that's a great question uh, because it is intimidating. You know, a lot of accountants and bookkeepers we talk to think, I can't be the CFO. And I can't be a CFO. I'm, I'm a bookkeeper or I'm a tax accountant. This is what I know. A CFO is in charge of, you know, like a company like Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's just, I'm not experienced enough. So the first step is realizing that A, business owners, small to medium-sized business owners make up 99% of all businesses. They don't need the CFO of Coca-Cola to be their CFO. In fact, they're not, it's not like they're looking for that anyways. They're, they don't even know what a CFO is much less think they need one, but they are looking for somebody that they can trust. So we've got, that can guide them towards having a growing and profitable business. So we've got to shift our mindset to, to from thinking as I can't be a CFO for large companies. Cause honestly, you probably can't. I mean, at least, you know, let's just face it. You're probably not, not going to be able to be the CFO for Coca-Cola tomorrow without a lot of experience, a lot of training, and a lot of experience dealing with large billion-dollar complex businesses. But guess what? That's not most businesses. <laughs> most businesses are small and medium-sized businesses that are doing less than $5 million in annual revenue. 
They need somebody in their lives. And so if you as the accountant can come along and say, I provide a service that will help you have a growing and successful business, they're going to ask you to tell them more. Now, listen to what I didn't say. I didn't say, I made outsource CFO. Do you want to hire me? That message will fall flat every single day because you've got then that's point number two. You've got to sell the end result, not how it gets there. There's, there's a there's a quote by a, a Harvard marketing professor. He said, You people buy, people don't buy the quarter inch drill when they go to the store, the, mm-hmm. the Home, Home Depot or Lowe's. They don't buy a quarter inch drill, they buy a quarter inch hole. People want the end result. So they're going to the store to buy the drill, but they don't really just want the drill. They want what the drill provides the whole. In our world, when selling advisory services, we know our clients want it, but we've got to sell what they want, which is the end result. The idea that I'm going to help you have a growing and successful business. Success defined in two ways. One, however, the client defines success. I mean, I've I've had many different clients over the years, and they all define success in many different ways. Some want a lifestyle business where they don't they can make a lot of money without having to work a lot. Some want to be able to travel four months out of the year. Some want to be able to expand rapidly and be a, a dominant player in their niche. Um, some want to be able to to provide great jobs in their hometown. I mean, it's just different. Um, everyone has their own whys, right? Exactly. And so you got to find out what find out what that is and then help them get there. And then the second definition of success is you've got to help a client, a business owner, generate consistent positive cash flow on a regular basis. Not profit, cash flow. And that's the only thing that's going to make a business help a business stay in business. Every, those 50% of businesses that fail before they reach their fifth birthday. Not one of them would have failed, would have, would have failed. Is that the right word? Would have uh, gone out of business <laughs> if they were able to generate consistent, positive cash flow. And that is the main definition of success that you as a CFO have to do. And the third point in order to transition from being an accountant to a CFO is having a methodology, having some sort of system to help you provide real results. And that's, I mean, that's quite frankly what we do at the CFO project. We provide, give you a system, equip you with systems on how to provide a CFO or advisory service to your client in less than four hours per month per client, which means this is very scalable. You're not reinventing the wheel on each client, which means it's not a fractional CFO type job. It's a, it's a product, what we call a productized CFO job where you're, you're providing a service and you're getting paid like a service, but it's in the form of a product, meaning it's scalable. And so those are the three things that you need in order to transition. Hey there, this is Kenny from Growth Amplifiers, here to ensure you get your awesome ideas into action to grow and improve your business and achieve your full potential. Take the first step by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. Take the assessment to get your personalized score. Then select from free resources to learn how to improve your score. Don't wait. Be proactive and take action now by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the start here button. And always keep on amplifying. Now, let's get back to the show. Well, I, I really like that, um, what you mentioned there. Um, my background, I got into going from technician myself, being a technician and working with people directly, and then building an agency and then getting into um, coaching and a CMO and, and partnering with other CFOs and account accountants and bookkeepers. Cause that we're all on the same mission. We're all trying to make businesses become more profitable, keep cash flow, keep in business. And sometimes you need different instruments for that job. But you mentioned something there that I really like it's productizing it in such a way so that it becomes scalable because if you don't have that, right, then what are the challenges if, because there are, you know, ways that you could learn to become maybe a fractional CMO or you could try to do it on your own, but take a step to talk about that scalability because you're, you've done something really great and created such a great scalable community. Uh, if you could just hone in a moment on that so that people can understand that, because I think that's really awesome. 
Yeah, if you if you take on a client in as their CFO or or business advisor, then in many cases, and that's that's what is normally called a fractional CFO service. Mm-hmm. When you do that, you have to understand what the client's needs are and create some sort of customized service around that, which is totally fine. It happens all the time, and and it's and it is needed, but. From your standpoint, the accountant standpoint, who is now doing this fractional CFO service, if you you cannot take on more of these, you can't take on a lot of these fractional CFO jobs because then it's going to feel like you have multiple part-time jobs and that's not <laughs> sustainable. That's not scalable. And if you decide to keep your, your tax or accounting or bookkeeping clients, now you have multiple jobs and you're going to feel stressed all the time and you're going to feel overwhelmed. And it's it's a recipe for burnout. And so there, there's a better way. And the better way is instead of providing fractional CFO service, provide what we call productized CFO service, where you're telling the client, this is what I provide to you. And by the way, every single client that we've, we've pitched this over the past 10 years has not balked at what we provide. Because what we provide, a growing and successful business, is exactly what they want. So it, it also takes the pressure off of them because when you hire a fractional CFO, the fractional CFO is looking at the client thinking, well, you tell me what you need and I'll <laughs> help you figure it out. And it's usually product-based or uh, project-based where I'm going to come in, solve a problem, and then leave. The client doesn't know. The client's an expert in their craft. They don't, they're not an expert in numbers or they don't even know what the problem is. It's like me going to the mechanic and and. Uh, the uh, the car shop and the mechanic saying, well, tell me what you need. I don't know. The don't car know. is making a noise. You tell me. You're the expert in this. So we've got to be able to sell something in a way that the client wants, but also in a way that's easy for you to deliver, that's scalable. I mean, if you know, Apple, I have my iPhone here. Apple make designs an iPhone once, and then manufactures it millions of times. That's mm. exactly what we need. So we design a system and then we teach you the system and you use that same system with every single client. Your clients don't know it's a system. They think they're getting a, a really robust CFO service, but you know it's a system and therefore it's scalable. I, I think that's amazing uh, and something that people should consider because ultimately this goes back to why you're in business. You're in business for a reason. And when you have a, I'm a big fan of systems. When you have a good system that you can scale, you can have more impact. You can provide more value. You can charge more, you could have more benefit. So all this is great. Now for those who are tuned in and they're like, yeah, uh, how how do I, how do I learn more? (laughs) Where can I go and what can I do? How can I get started with something like this? What, what would you tell them? I would say that's a great question. We actually have a free training that we do every Thursday um, at 3 o'clock Eastern called How to Start a CFO Service. So if anybody's interested in that, they just go to the free training. You can go to the cfoproject.com, T-H-E, C-F-O project.com. And then at the very top, it says free training. <laughs> Click on that and then sign up for the next, for the next Thursday's event. Um, you could also on the website, we, we have a lot of free resources. You can explore more there as well. I, I think that's a great thing. So don't sit out on the sidelines and saying, I don't know wh- what if, how don't get into your head and prevent yourself from taking one step further, at least go to the free training, learn and, and see if it's something that you'd want to pursue. Um, that's the first step is just when you have more information, you can make an educated decision. And, you know, just talking with Adam and interacting with uh, members of his team, I know that he he's, has a really thorough process and he's really authentic and c- cultivates transformation. So uh, I'm an advocate for the CFO project. I'm excited to be connected with you, Adam, and have you on as a guest and one g- And is there anything else you'd like to share that's an important thing that we didn't cover just to make sure that we're getting that out there? I think the the only thing that I think prevents an account or the one main thing that prevents accountants from from doing this is this idea of 
that I just cannot be a CFO, this imposter syndrome. Hmm. But you have to remember that your clients are not deciding between you and the CFO of, of General Motors. <laughs> right. They're deciding between you and nothing at all. And most businesses fail. So they need your help. So, so you at least know more than most small, medium-sized business owners. So don't feel like imposter syndrome, which is a real thing. And by the way, we actually celebrate in our program imposter syndrome because people that don't have imposter syndrome think that they know everything about everything. And that's dangerous for the client and that's dangerous for you. And that's why, you know, with YouTube, there's a lot of 22-year-old life coaches out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, imposter syndrome is a real thing and it's a good thing. Embrace it and use that to help your clients to have a huge impact on their lives. Very well said. Uh, awesome what you're doing. Excited to have you on. Uh, if you've tuned in, make sure that you don't just listen. Is this not a podcast where you want to listen? You want to listen and take action. Do something to amplify your life. Do something to amplify others. Take action. Be an amplifier. Adam, thank you again for tuning in, for sharing your message, and for moving forward your mission. Thanks, Kenny, for the invite. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.